Welcome back. The NBA Combine is this week. Just a few days ago, we thought we'd have four Gonzaga participants. Now that's been whittled down to two. Only Brandon Clark and Zach Norvell will be in attendance. Today, we're going to dive into what Clark and Norvell need to do to improve their stock at the Combine and what is happening to Rui and Killian's stock since they won't be in attendance. I believe the Combine is going to be huge for Brandon Clark. He is one of the most underrated prospects in the country. At 6'9", 220 20 pounds. He can play the five position in the modern NBA and the fact that he can shoot the three if needed is a huge plus. Beyond that, outs inside the paint, the kid became automatic this season, shooting nearly 70% from the field. It literally got to the point during the NCAA tournament that whenever Brandon shot the ball in the paint, you could put two points on the board before it went in. It goes to show, it goes without saying that his shot blocking ability is also huge. The only real questions about him are his ball handling skills and his age. Obviously one of those things he cannot change if Brandon performs at the same level as he did this season, is confident with the ball and makes his age and therefore his maturity a positive for scouts. Expect him to skyrocket up draft boards. I expect Brandon to be a consensus top 15 pick if all of those things come to fruition. Zach Norvell, however, has a whole lot more to prove than Brandon Clark, especially since Norvell isn't even a consensus second round pick. The main complaint about Snacks is how streaky he is. Over the final five games of the season, Zach went 10 of 37 from three, shooting 27% and committing 13 turnovers. To put it simply, he was sloppy. Even in perhaps Zach's best game of the season against Creighton, he was still really streaky. He went 9 of 21 from the field, which is acceptable, I suppose. Breaking that down a little bit more, though, he went 6 of 17 from 3, which included some not ideal step back heat check threes. He made 7 of his first 9 shots to start the second half. And then he missed his last 4 shots, which were all threes, by the way. Zach's nickname is the microwave. The problem with microwaves is that they heat up as quickly as they cool down. Norvell will look to shake that identity over the next few days to secure himself a place in the NBA draft. OK, so that's what leads us to two Zags who are not participating in the combine. Killian Tilly and Rui Hachimura. We're going to first break down what not participating means for Rui. Rui not participating could mean one of two things. One. He has been promised by a team that will draft him, uh, that they will draft him, thus making the combine null and void because he knows where he's going. Or two, his agency wants to hold him out of the combine so as to not have all 30 teams make up their minds at once about a player. This is the more likely option. Rui maintains a bit of mystique if he opts out of the combine essentially and the main question for teams about Rui is his three point shooting as the three point line is obviously farther out in the NBA. Regardless, Rui is a consensus lottery pick, so I would imagine his agency thinks he can only hurt his stock by participating this week in Chicago for Tilly. I believe he gains nothing by not participating in the combine. It's been well documented that he sprained his left ankle about a week and a half ago at an Atlanta Hawks workout, and it was so bad that he couldn't complete the session. For whatever reason, Tilly is withdrawing. Even if it isn't injury related, it sure does look like it uh, to teams in the NBA that he's withdrawing because of that sprained ankle. The biggest question for squads about Tilly coming into the combine was his durability. The ankle sprain is his fourth injury in 14 months. Tilly withdrawing definitely does not help answer any questions mm -hmm. about that. If you want to watch the NBA Combine, Thursday, Friday, ESPN2 from noon to 4 o'clock Pacific time.